Hi guys, in this short expert tips video, I'd like to show you the new way LR Timelapse handles keyframes, starting with version 7.4. The main difference is that the first and the last image of a sequence are not anymore being automatically treated as keyframes, as this was the case in older versions. So let's have a look. I have a simple sequence here where I would like to use just one keyframe, but not at the beginning. I would like to use it at the middle. And this was not possible in former versions of LR time maps. But now, since 7.4, I can just set one keyframe here, for example, by editing the frame. And now if I apply the auto transition, it will just treat this as a single keyframe and make all other images equal to this one. In former versions of LR timelapse, the first image and the last image were always treated as keyframes, no matter if they were marked as such. So that would lead to a curve like this in the same scenario instead of what we achieved now. Now, if I set a second keyframe, let's pop out the preview so that you can see it a little bit better. So let's just go to another position in the sequence and increase the exposure. So let's just use this for demonstrational purposes. And now I make another auto transition. We have only those two keyframes here. And the beginning and the end of the sequence is like loose ends. So they will always just reflect the values of those keyframes. Basically, you can think about the keyframes being extended to the left and the right. So this gives you a lot more flexibility than before. And of course, you could still work like before by just setting the first image as a keyframe. This is uh, what you would usually do. So then the first image would be a keyframe and then, of course, it will be animated from there. Also, of course, you could set the last frame as a keyframe and again, then everything will work as you're used to. But just make sure that if you want the first or last image to be a keyframe, then you have to set the keyframe there either by just editing the frame here in the internal editor or by pressing the key four on your keyboard to set a keyframe or by using this keyframe indicator or in the table as you're used to just set the keyframe by clicking on the leftmost column or in Lightroom by setting four stars, which would also mark the frame as a keyframe. To summarize, the first and last images of a sequence are not anymore being treated as keyframes automatically. A single keyframe somewhere in the sequence will now be treated as reference and populated to all the other keyframes. And if no keyframes exist, the very first image of the sequence will be treated as keyframe, even if it's not marked as a keyframe. So if you don't have any other keyframes, then the first image will be your keyframe. Loose ends, like first or last image without keyframes, will just be linearly connected with the next or previous keyframe. I think this is much more intuitive and also more in line with how the video editors you know behave in terms of keyframes. I hope you enjoy this improvement and if you're interested in a video about all the other improvements since LR Time Lab 7.0 until today, 741, then please subscribe to the channel. There will be another video where I explain all those changes. If you have any questions, leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.